Oh, hey buddies. So today we're going to do something a little different. I um, was planning on going out to the river to prospect a little more. Uh, we had some rain a couple days ago and uh, it really it muddied up the field uh, to get there. I really don't want to drive through the field and mess up the, the, the farmer's field. So not going out to the river today. So instead I decided I was going to do some some painting at home. I got literally just today had Klesh's new raw pay dirt delivered. I ordered 10 small bags of it and they're here. They just got here a little bit ago. I'm going to take those out, uh, pick one of them, pan it. I also have a bag of I think it's a gold strike. Can't remember off the top of my head. It's upstairs right now. But it's the half gram guaranteed bag. So I'm going to run it today also. I've got several bags in the, in the drawer that I need to run at some point. So um, join me outside. We're going to do a little panning on the on the back deck. See what this, uh, this new raw pay dirt uh, that Clutch offers is all about. So we'll get that ran and um, see what's in it. So anyway, come join me. Got this new pay dirt from Clash. Um, I'm actually going to, I'm going to just run some different dirt today. Uh, I've got this half gram uh, bag. Um, been sitting in my drawer for a bit. Um, about a month and then I, I ordered 10 of these of his new um, raw pay dirt unsearched um, I'm not sure if you can these are all numbered I just kind of spread them out here 231 is the last one 222 here we go the last one and the first one um, in this, this stretch so I'll just pick one of these out here um, let's see which one feels like it has more gold in it um, oh, definitely this one. This one right here. I think it's got uh, at least two ounces of gold. Yeah, definitely. So, all right. Um, oh, for a little bag like this, this little golden rule classifier, um, just about the right size. So, we're going to start out with the 10 mesh. It's our first classification size. The First step, let's see, what bag is this? 230, bag 230. Definitely sealed well. This is no joke. I'm pretty sure I see a piece of gold right there on top. It might be hard for you to see, but that's in the first second of opening the bag. I could be wrong, but we'll see. Okay. Quartz in there. I see quartz. Not a lot in the plus 10. I'm just checking out the kind, the types of rocks that are in there. Nice little quartz specimen right there. Knowing that this is all raw dirt from Colorado, I might save this and crush it. We're gonna do a little hand classifying here. This is the second time I've had that happen with this Golden Sands, um, Golden Rule classifier, that as I start to either screw it on or screw it off, the threads slip by. Guys, I'm not 100% sure if this is one of his bags that he added gold to. If so, if so, I got um, crazy stupid lucky. But, yeah, 
let's go ahead and pan this out. This is all minus 20. There's not much in here, so I'm going to go ahead and... Oh my gosh. Can you all see that? Okay, I'm going to assume this is one he added gold to. Look at that. I have not even started panning yet. I added some water and rolled some of this back. Yeah. I'm pretty sure this is a bonus bag here. Um, decent black sands in there. side oh my gosh here look at this I don't know if you can see this can you see this looks like there's all kinds of flower gold I'm not sure if you can see this but so here's the the nuggets in that this is I've not even started working on getting the black sands out yet and there's all this flower gold up here hopefully you can see that one thing I like to do is when I'm panning back these this little bit at the end here I like keeping my pan in the water From my experience of doing the crumbs, this is a small bag, and so I didn't even bother running a magnet over it. Probably would have benefited from it. Okay, so we're back. I put a little more jet dry in here. Let's see how much of this is magnetic. A lot. I would definitely suggest a uh, a magnet going over this. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take this stuff here and we're gonna set it aside. We're gonna set it aside in another bowl. So, definitely do the magnet first. This is the last stuff, the plus 20, minus 10 plus 20. Doubt we'll find anything in here. I'm not sure what I want to do here. If I want to go ahead and work on these, let's just set them aside. Let's collect all the black sands 
from these and then just run them whenever I'm done with these 10 bags, run them all at the end. I like that idea. The magnetite. We're gonna do a snuffer bottle dump. Okay, so I dumped all this out, forgot to start the camera. So um, this is the Gold Strike um, half gram guaranteed. I'm gonna go ahead and just run all this smaller stuff through the bucket sluice. There we go. We're gonna use that later, okay. I already see gold in this first ripple here. I really like these drop ripples of this bucket sluice. Uh, they work out really good. I don't know, I hope you can see that. Oh, that's cleaning out and you see that gold. plus kitchen strainer size. See if there's anything maybe stuck to these rocks, possibly. Like a big piece of gold right there.
try to go in and weigh up this gold from the uh, the raw pay dirt. So here's the weight on the raw pay dirt bag. I think it's pretty evident that this was a bonus bag. I think I got pretty lucky in the first bag that I picked to run, um, but it was challenging. It was a lot of fun, um, a lot of black sands, a lot of uh, flower gold. So this is the weight on the Gold Rush pay dirt bag, 0.5 grams guaranteed. Um, again, anytime you get over the, the guaranteed amount, it's a good time. Um, two very nice bags of pay dirt from Klesh. Um, always fun processing his pay dirt bags.